I'm going to feel real good tonight. Hallelujah. You may be seated. We thank God for being here tonight. Amen. Happy to see all these beautiful faces that came out to worship the Lord tonight. Amen. I'm going to thank God for Jesus. Isn't it a blessing to be on the Lord's side? Amen. How many got your Bibles tonight? Hold them up. Let's see them. Amen. Good soldier needs a good sword. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for being here tonight. As I said, have to see all these beautiful faces that came out to worship the Lord tonight. Isn't God good? Amen. We're just a big family. Amen. God's family. God ordained family life. Amen. Pray God we can lean on one another. And that what if we give them a day in time, you can't hardly trust nobody now. Amen. I believe that David, David said, put confidence in no man. Amen. It's kind of like that now. Amen. But it's pray God that God's people has that family. Amen. Praise God that Praise God that love. Let me make you feel good to know that somebody cares about you. Somebody loves you. Somebody's concerned about you. And if you kind of get in the tight, there's somebody to help you. And from here on out, we're going to need that. Thing is not going to get any better. Amen? Yeah. Bible said, we see these things come to pass. Pray God. Th he said, be not terrified. This is the beginning of sorrow. Yeah. Amen? If you notice, God knocking all the props out. Amen. Insurance come to going broke. Amen. God gonna break them. Amen. They won't treat us right. God breaking them. Amen. You can drive a car, pray to God for 40 years. Then you have an accident. Somebody want to cancel them. That's not right. So God is canceling now. Amen. Earthquakes over here. Freezing to death over here. Blowing your way down here. Washing your way up yonder. Amen. That's a turmoil in the land now. Amen. What's God done? Pray God. We won't act right till we get in the corner. Amen. And God knows how to put us in that corner. Well, we have to depend on him. It is beautiful for God's people to come together. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We said, I don't care how large we grow. We will be just one great big family. I know some of you can't remember, praise God, when I was a boy, people hoped one another. They weren't looking to get paid for everything. How much you gonna give me? How much you gonna pay me? It was a pleasure to help that neighbor. Amen. Neighbor got sick, they'd come over and clean the house. And sometimes, pray God, they'd go to the field and plow all day. And wasn't looking for nothing. Kill hog, man, you almost get a hog away. So let's take this to such a so-and-so. Take this to such a so-and-so. We want them to get a... I mean, you just share. Amen? But now, keep mine, take what I can from you. Now, we're making more money than we used to have, but we don't have the pleasure that we used to have. Job's a lot easier now. But we cannot enjoy ourselves like we used to. Well, amen. Something has happened. Praise the Lord. But God would have us to love one another, be concerned about one another. Amen. You used to sleep outdoors in the summertime. Nobody would bother you. Go to church, go to town, leave the door. You didn't lock no doors. Lock them now, and then you come back, somebody done broke in. And sometimes it's not the fellow you don't know. Sometimes it's the person you know. Sometimes it's the nearest of kin. Well, amen. Because that don't happen among God's folks. Amen. How many was his number with God's folks? Well, amen. All right, get your Bibles tonight. Pray, what do you want to kind of prime your thought that tonight? Amen. Pray, it's God's folks supposed to love one another. Jesus tell us to love our enemy. 
do good to them that despise use us. People's tempers on ends now. You read the paper that I believe that was this morning, yesterday. This man shot a woman and a girl because he threw the ball at his car. He might have been just throwing the ball out of the car. You can't throw balls out now. So if you get shot. Amen. Man, that, that's, that's, that, that's, your, your nerve is on edge when you do such as that. Amen. People need help. They need the Lord. Listen, you may not believe it, but it's a blessing to be on the Lord's side. I'm not condoning drugs and alcohol, but some of these folks, they don't have God. They got to depend on something. Amen. But pray God, I mean, know we have the best. If you're serving the Lord, you don't have to try to drown your troubles away. Hallelujah. And come to the Lord. Amen. So we thank God for being here tonight. We're not going to talk on that tonight. We want to talk on something else tonight. The Bible says, such the scripture from them you think you have eternal life, but they'll be that testify me. Your soul is, is the important thing that you will ever possess. Your soul. Amen? And if you're saved tonight, that's the best thing that ever happened to you. Amen? If you're saved. I said, that's the best thing could ever happen to you. It means something to be saved. Hallelujah. Just waiting to go back with Jesus when he comes. One of these old days, the Bible said he's going to split the sky. And the dead in Christ shall rise up to meet him. We that remain shall be caught up. Paul called it the blessed hope. Looking forward to that blessed hope. Saints living with the expectation. Hallelujah. And we're going to leave here one of these old days. Leave all this trouble, this turmoil down in. Amen. But I must say, it's a struggle till you come. How many intend to struggle to endure? The Lord didn't promise to move everything. Huh? Something we believe God for and God move it. But Paul tells us certain thing to endure hardness. Endure it. I mean, put up with it. Endure hardness as a good soldier. Amen. It's not going to be easy over here always. It's not going to be easy. It's not easy in the world. Amen? Amen? But the Bible said after you have suffered a while, Amen. I mean it's not going to be always. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Why do we live with hope and expectation one of these old days that all is going to be over? Yeah. Everything we need is in the Word of God. Yeah. How many don't believe that tonight? So it's a blessing to be saved. Amen. But we had sad to say, but we got a fellow want to take our jar away from us. Other fellow don't like to see us free. He don't like to see us praise the Lord. But we got to praise him anyhow. Amen. How many got your mind made? I'm going to praise him anyway. Hallelujah. I'm going to live for him anyway. Listen, this is the way to keep the victory. Huh? You know, it's hard to fight a fella. You, he's, he's laughing on his feet. You knock him off his feet, he's still laughing. Don't care what position he's in, he's still smiling. I look at Clinton, man. I mean, they can put him on him and have him president. He's still laughing. Just keep right on going. He's a tough cookie. You got to get to him. He's a tough cookie. Amen. Going on doing his work. Amen. We should take an example from that. We serve it. God gonna go home and cloud up because somebody look at you funny. Go home and sit down. My salvation is involved. My soul is involved. I don't care what you do. I intend to make it. Amen. You know what? The more of this word of God we know, the easier we will be able to serve God and to go through our trial. And that's what I want to talk about. One little thing here tonight. Get your Bible. Let's turn to the book of Mark. We're going to the fourth chapter. And we're going to begin reading at the 21st verse. Mark 4 and 21. Mark 4 and 21. And he said unto them. And he said unto them. 
is a candle brought is a candle bought to be put under a bushel. To be put on a bushel. That's what you buy a candle for to put it on a bushel. Or under a bed. A light cover it up. The Bible said we are light. Huh? That sit it on a hill. Read. Or under a bed. Or under a bed. And not to be set on a candlestick. Read. For there is nothing hid. Listen, ain't nothing hid from the Lord. Which shall not be made manifest. You know, sometimes we think we hide little things, you know, and we think we don't put it by. But nothing is hid from the Lord. He saw you last night if you made that midnight creep. When everybody put the lights out, think everybody going to bed, then you're going to get up and tip out. Don't you know that just like noonday with the Lord, the Bible says he neither sleep nor slumber. He don't even doze. Read. Neither is there anything kept secret. Neither is there anything kept secret. But it, but that it should come abroad. That it should come abroad. If any man. If any man. Have ears to hear. Now listen, I want you to pay attention. If any man has ear to hear. Let him hear. Let him hear. And he said unto them. And he said unto them. Take heed what ye hear. Now that's what I want to talk about tonight. Take heed what you hear. If any man has an ear, let him hear. What scripture, if any man has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Now there are a lot of different spirits. Amen. And this is very important. Had not been important, it would not be in the Bible. This is the words of the Lord. They tell me this red writing is Jesus speaking himself. So this is red writing. And he said unto them, take heed. It's a warning. He alerting you, take heed. What you hear. I mean, pay attention to what you hear. Now we cannot listen to everything. What you hear has effect on the whole body. So much so that the Bible says faith come by hearing and hearing comes by hearing the word. It says faith come by seeing. Now seeing is a power. Your eyes is powerful. Amen. You can see something and sometimes it takes you for days to dismiss that that's something we see and we forget. But there's something when you see it, it's way over in the night before you can get dismissed that thing. But faith does not come by hearing. Because many times your eyes can deceive you. Sometimes a, a pop looks like a beer. Off a distance. That man had a beer. Nigga, little club. No, he had a pop. Have you seen people praise the Lord that you look just like somebody that you you get right close to me you find out they're different that's when you have to be careful you know sometimes with some people we're real close to you no know, real close to and we kind of play with them we tip up behind them you know and but you gotta be careful with that i know one day i was Right after I came to Dallas, I was coming down the street. I seen a man look just like a man I knew at home. And I went to tip up on him just so I tipped him when he turned around. Because <laughs> he wasn't who I thought he was. <laughs> so I learned then to be careful. Even though you think you know a person, make sure you know the person. Before you start. Amen. Put your hands on somebody else. Now. Take heed what you hear. Then mean it's, a, it's of a necessity when the word of God going for, get still, be still. Amen? This means Psalm said, keep thy feet in the house of the Lord. There's a time to walk, there's a time to talk. There's a time to be still. Your life may depend upon What's being said? Amen? 
And if you want to live a successful life, listen to the word of God. Everything you need in here to live a successful life is in the word of God. It's really so important that you should be at the church every time the word is going forth. You may miss something. Amen? Amen. Then we need to know. See, the Bible said we're not ignorant of the devil's devices. Now, he's a corner. He's a trickster. Amen? Amen? And he'll do everything he can to get you off, to throw you off. To get you off the right road. And many people are deceived today, think they're going on with God. Amen? Amen? Amen. So, therefore, we need to pay attention. The Bible said we ought to give the most of the heed to the thing which we have heard. It's very important to hear the word of God. We're saved by the word. Faith comes by hearing, hearing comes by hearing the word. Did you, did you get that? Faith. Now the Bible said, he be loving the sick is impossible to please him without faith. But we do not pray for faith. Amen? Amen. Prayer is no good without faith. Amen? Amen? If you don't have any faith, there's no need of praying. Faith come by hearing. And he didn't stop that. Faith come by hearing. Then he, he clicks it. Hearing comes by hearing the word. What? The word of God. Then Jesus said, take heed with you. Don't hear nothing but the word. Then we have to pay attention how it's being applied. Amen? If you notice in the fourth chapter of Luke, when the devil met Jesus, he quoted some scriptures. Amen? So it's very, very important that we know what thus says the Lord. You need to know the word. The more the word of God you know, the easier it is to live for the Lord. There are many different damnable doctrines that's going out and many more will be going out. The Christ delay is coming. These are the last days. Amen? And if you don't know the truth, the reason the Bible says, stand in the way, seek and act for the old path. Then when you find it, walk there and don't leave it, walk there in it. When you find it, walk in it. Our soul is involved. Amen? Whole lot of people are pick up in this Bible and they're preaching from it. Amen? But the Bible tells us to do what rightly divide the word of truth. And I don't care which way you turn it, how you twist and turn it, it still means for you to live holy. Peace of all men, holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. I don't care whether you're Catholic, Baptist, Methodist, or whatever you may be. If you expect to go back with Jesus when it comes, you're going to have to be holy. There's only one way to be holy except Christ in your life completely. Well, amen. Now, there's only one religion, if you want to call it a religion, that's able to save you, and that's through Jesus Christ. There's no other name on heaven where a man may be saved other than the name of Jesus Christ. There's a grave in Israel that has nobody. And I'm not talking about just because they moved it either. Amen? Amen? Jesus came down here. He demonstrated the power of God. The compassion of God. And he went to Calvary and paid the penalty for your sins and mine and went in the grave and came out. Bible said he became the first fruit of the resurrection. What do you mean by that? The first person to ever get up to never have to die again. The boy Elijah raised had to die again. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Joshua don't had to die again. Lazarus had to die again. But we have a representative in heaven. Not in Washington. But we have a representative in heaven sitting on the right hand of the Father. His name is Jesus. There is a man in heaven tonight. Yes, sir. His name is Jesus. And the Bible says he's making intercession for you and I. 
Hallelujah. How many believe that? That's what the Lord wants us to hear. Take heed what you hear. Now you got a whole lot of folks. Get them to the pull pit and they get them. Like, now they don't let nobody fool you. You can't live. Listen, you can't live that. Take heed what you hear. Amen. That won't give you life. That, listen, that type is no hope in it. Amen. Amen. Listen, we had to can't help it before Jesus came. Amen. Amen. Oh, you, you, you can't live that. Type. That's why Jesus came. That's why we have the Holy Ghost. We could not do it ourselves. Amen. But through Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ, we can have the victory tonight. Yes, sir, you can be saved. You can be delivered. You can be set free. Amen. And listen, once you're set free, then that's another thing to stay free. God did not save you to go back and sin. Now, I do not believe in backslide. I believe God saved you to go to heaven. Amen. But you're going to tell me once saved, I always say you can do whatever you want and God's going to pull you into heaven anyway. No, sir. Amen. Ain't nothing but the righteous Amen. going back with the Lord. Amen. Anytime a person will tell you that, reject it. Take heed. Take heed. What you hear? Amen. See, what it means, now, something we have to turn down turn a deaf ear to amen so you can't listen to everything people say you can't listen to every song some songs sound real good if you're not very careful to you have your pat in your foot then when you stop and listen to it ain't nothing in it what's amen sometimes they're singing a lie you know you're patting your foot to it it sounds good so everything that sound good ain't good. Amen. Everything that tastes good ain't good for you. Amen. So you have to pay attention. Amen. Amen. You can't look at everything on TV. That's something I have you confused. Amen. Some of this stuff will keep you woke all night. I can't see how some of the young folk look at some of this stuff. The devil from the black lagoon and the lagoon and all them, them demons. Them ain't nothing but demons. Who do I want to look at that stuff? Come out here and their teeth growing out of the yard. How in the world can you look at that stuff and go to sleep? I'd be seeing them teeth in my sleep. No, sir. I've been tormented enough. I want rest. I want peace. And peace is in Jesus Christ. So that all you're going to show me. Turn it off. that kind of stuff a little boy I used to go to the picture show and then they show them ghost pictures and things I'd go home and I couldn't sleep all night. I quit going them things so that means you can't look at everything you can't listen to everything you can't listen to every gospel amen what did Jesus say take heed give me a Matthew 24 and 4 So you have a choice. You can listen to what you want to, but everything you listen to is not beneficial to you. If you want to be saved, want to keep the vigor, listen to positive things. You don't want to listen to a preacher always tell me, hey, you can't do this, and, uh, you, you can't do that, and uh, the day of miracle is over. Listen, when they get through preaching you that you can't live nothing, God can't do nothing, well, why fool with him? We need help. Why do you go to a doctor? Would you go to a doctor and everybody, everybody, everybody that he doctor don't die? Would you go to him? And that's the way they, they make God so helpless. Child, you can't live it. Do the best you can. And then he doesn't work any more miracles. Well, what are you praying for? Anytime you pray for anything, and if God grant that, that's a miracle. I don't care if you ask him for a toothpick or you ask somebody to get out of a wheelchair. If God grant it, that's a miracle. How many believe that? Read. 
And Jesus answered. And Jesus answered. And said unto them. And said unto them. Take heed that no man. Take heed. Pay attention. Take heed. That no man. Pay attention. Deceive that you. That no man deceive you. For many shall Now what is he saying here? There are some deceivers out there. There are some deceivers out there. Now if you're going to deceive somebody. What do you do? You try to make it as real as possible. Amen. You try to disguise it. Huh? Because what you, you want to deceive him. Well, you can take a letter from Duck Hunter. What did he put them old decoys out there on the lake? He's trying to fool the duck in there. Amen. Amen. And this is the way the devil works. Now, do you expect him to win somebody come in here? I'm the devil. But the Bible said he disguises himself. He come in acting just like a child of God. Amen. Amen. So he gonna put himself in trouble studying the word. He gonna get that word. He gonna speak with using skillfully. But that certain things he gonna leave out. Amen. And we have this today. Amen. I don't care what you. Go out and start. You're going to get some followers. But listen. We out here tonight. I'm in this because I want my soul saved. I, I want to go back with Jesus when he comes. Now it ain't mighty bad to spend 40 or 50 years thinking I'm going back with Jesus and find out I've been deceived all that time. So when you find out you're deceived, change. Well, I'm this because mother was this. I'm this because daddy was that. Amen. A lot of people sitting in dead denominations tonight. The Norton been gone. But because this is what my mother was. I don't want to hurt my mother's feelings. I want to hurt my friend's feeling. But I got news for you. If you don't get right, not only your feeling, your soul going to be hurt. Listen, this is an individual affair. You people, you young folk come in and sit here and you keep a lot of knowledge while the word of God going for. You're going to need that one day. Amen. The Bible said, take heed what you hear, pay attention. Amen. Amen. There are many things going forth now. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Read what it says here. For many shall come in Listen my name. Listen what it says. For many. For many shall come in my name. Saying I am Christ. Saying that I am Christ. And shall deceive me. And shall deceive me. Can't you see a lot of folks being deceived? Amen. A lot of people is sincere. But being sincere doesn't necessarily mean right. Amen. They're sincere. But they're being deceived. Amen. Ain't but one way right. Ain't but one thing right. That's the word of God. In its fullness. Amen. Now, we don't have to understand why God said don't do a thing. If God said don't do it, that's what he means. So don't argue with him. Just don't do it. Amen. God gives us illustrations so many times. I was reading this in the magazine and these two fellas went turkey hunting. I believe it was turkey hunting. And this fellow was sitting down here by an old rotten log. And he was saying, you know, you try to disguise yourself so what you're trying to hunt deer, whatever it is, they can't detect you before you see them. And his partner having to look back. And he's sitting down here in a big old rock so they could crawl out on that log right, right almost at his head. And he turned around and he saw what he couldn't holler. Because see, sometimes if, if you tell a friend what, he'll jump the wrong way. So he looked back at him and he had his shotgun. He said, duck. So first the man hesitated. Why should I duck? So the man hollered again, duck. And just as he duck, he said, boom. And he shot the snake right there by his head. Now I suppose there had been some hard here somewhere. I want to know why I got a duck. What you telling me to duck for? (laughs) 
So you don't have to have an explanation to be obedient. Amen? Now God has given us anointed God-fearing leaders. God is the one ordained leadership. Amen? When God places you with a leader, he expects you to follow that leader. And you're not going to know what that leader knows. Amen. I got the Holy Ghost just like him. Many times God was sent warning through his leaders. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hmm. I hear that all the time. I'm tired. I feel like going to church tonight. Hmm. Pastor always got enough to do something. Many times we get caught up in something, it's not easy to get out of it. Because we fail to be obedient. We fail to take heed to what's being said. Amen? Now, as I said, we, we a lot of people going for a whole lot of folk. Got the little satchel going now. Amen. People are preaching for many, many different things. To some people, this is a living for them. That's all it is, a living for them. But if a minister doesn't have souls and heart, then he need to quit the business. Amen? And I don't care how many members God give you, you love every one of them. And it's your responsibility to lead them into the kingdom. Therefore, you have to tell them the truth. But God, the high hurt. Amen? And when you preach, listen, you, you, you're not trying to make people feel bad. And you're trying to make them uncomfortable. Yes, so they'll do what's right. But your leader loves you. Amen? And when everything is smooth, he tried to warn you of the thing that's coming forth. Amen. Have you noticed, whenever God got ready to do something, he always sent a warning. Amen. He sent Nineveh a warning. Amen. He had to work with Jonah over to get him to get there with it, but he sent Jonah to warn them. Amen. God always warns his people before destruction comes. But many times people fail to take heed to the destruction. In the days of Jeremiah, Jeremiah Welp and cried. He warned Israel that they was going into captivity down into Babylon, but they wouldn't hear. They wouldn't listen. They would listen to the wrong message. Amen. They wouldn't hear Jeremiah. They would listen to the mother prophets. And we got a lot of people that are doing that now. We are crying out against sin. Listen, you can't do that and be saved. But look, there's a group of folks that pray God. They, they called in sin being delivered. You know that? That's what a lot of them call the delivers today. Child, we don't have to dress like that. We, we can put on our paint. We can put on our pants. We, we can do this. We can go out. We can swing out on the town. We delivered. That's what they're saying. That just like it was back in Jeremiah. They get me Jeremiah 7. You know today the... <clears throat> People are living like the devil now and saying they filled with the Spirit. Amen? But listen, you can't listen to that. Take heed what you hear. Don't pay that any attention. Read. Behold. Behold. Ye trust in lying words that cannot profit. This is what the majority of the people are doing. That they're not. See, Jesus said, take heed what you hear. Amen? That means you can't listen to everything. Try the spirit. What is that? Behold. Behold. You trust in lying You trust words. in lying words. We live in a time now. People are trusting in lying words. Amen. Read. That cannot profit. That cannot profit. Will you steal? That's all right now. <clears throat> Will you steal? Murder. And commit adultery. And swear falsely. And burn Listen. incense. It ain't nothing to change wives now. Husband. Amen. People run over Dutcher like they do a snake. Amen. 
God didn't mean what he said there. Now the Bible give you some ground. But the majority of people are not using this ground. They're using some of everything. Well, he beat me on my head every morning. Well, he didn't say you could get no divorce for that. I know that hurt. That's a bad feeling. But the Bible didn't say you could get a divorce for that. Well, I couldn't stay there. Well, I didn't understand that. But he still didn't say you could get a divorce for it. One of the things you need to pay attention before you jump into it. A lot of this wouldn't happen if you pray a little longer. If you seek the Lord, it even was fasting to get the right fellow, the right lady. Child, I can't contain. You can contain that just as good as a lot of folks do other things. The fellow on drugs say he can't contain either. But God's what? God's a deliverer? Y'all still saying that slow. God's a deliverer and God's a keeper. Amen? Man, I must be right in the middle of something here now. Maybe I can really stay there a while, but I'm not preaching on adultery tonight. See, this is who's never will. I'm supposed to preach it. You can take it or leave it. He said, take heed what you hear. Now, if you expect to make it, you're going to have to listen to something that's going to encourage you. You have to take the truth. Amen? Will you steal, murder, commit adultery? This is what they're doing. Listen, the man that preached you the truth by the word of God, that's the one that followed. Amen. See, ain't this, ain't, this was prophesied back in Jeremiah, but don't we see this happening now? Amen. You trust in line. Well, look at, look at most of our TV show. What are, they, what, what, what are you getting out of TV? Most of these preachers on TV. I didn't say all of them, but I said most of them. My name and claiming. You can't get it but name and claiming. They done got so careless now, they want to throw the, the collar. They don't want to wear no tie. They don't want to recognize the house of God no more. Amen. Amen. Bring a thing down. God's not a common God. Amen. Amen. The house of God is not a common house. Amen. This is a place of God, a place of wisdom. It should be respected. If you're going to wear your best anywhere, you should wear it here. If you're going to look your best anywhere, you should. Amen. But he said, well, hold your trust in line word. Oh, listen, I'm going to show this is up to date. Read. And swear falsely. And swear falsely. And burn incense unto Baal. And burn incense. Try to work voodoo. Do you remember that the time press got, you my age, the, the, the voodoo worker was kind of under the cover like the gays was. We didn't, uh, we didn't hear all of these devil worship. Listen, when God leaves out of something, everything comes in. Amen. Listen, when Saul was on fire for God, he put them wizards and witchcraft workers out. Amen. But when he backslid, they came back into the country. Soothsayer. Hand readers. Witchcraft workers. All this stuff is in the land. Amen. Read. And walk after other gods. And walk after other gods. Whom you know not. You know what they're saying now? Oh, that, that's your religion. They did trying to bring the other religion up eagle with cry and I said that, 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 that's your way of worship. That, e e even the country is going that way now. Talking about that, that, that other, that's just another God. No son, this is not another God. This is the only God. Amen. Living God. Amen. No son, you can't put him on level with nothing else. That's old Dagon. They put the ark in the room with Dagon every morning come on his head was off. 
You can't put two guards in the same house. The other time they get up the next morning, his head was off. Amen? Listen, if you serve anything other than Jesus Christ, you, your religion is wrong. Amen? And some of these trying to worship Christ at all. Men will come in my name saying that I'm Christ. Take heed what you hear. Amen. Amen. Read. And come and stand before and me. And come and stand before me. Now listen, you're going to do all of this junk. This is what folks doing today. Man, they trade wives and husbands like they do automobiles. Amen. They do whatever they want to do. And then, then Sunday morning they come to the house of the Lord. Read, what did he say? And come and stand before and me. And come and stand before me. In this house. In this house. Which is called by my which name. Which is called by my name. And say. And say. We are delivered. We are. Ain't that what I said a few moments? Ain't that what you're hearing today? Amen. Child, right. so we've been delivered. We don't have to live like that no more. We don't have to dress like that no more. We don't have to do that no more. Even some of got to the point now they, don't, they have come to church. And they walk back, they're talking about a drive-in church. We, we what? We are delivered. We are delivered. To do all these abominations. To do all these things. This is what they say. Anytime you see church folks doing the same thing, they are saying they delivered to do that. I looked on TV one day, and this lady up there behind, I guess she was in the choir behind the preacher. With some shorts on, she's like, Ooh. <laughs> Now, you know that was a disgrace. That's a disgrace to the pulpit. That's a disgrace to the men. Therefore, you know it was a disgrace to God to come into the house of God like that. Why, well, when Adam and Eve sinned, God made clothes for them. But they said, We're free to do this. But Jesus said, take heed what you hear. Now this sounds good to a lot of folk. This is what they want to hear. Do you know people go, if people stand at a place, there's something there they like. But it may not be what they need. Get me in Hebrews 10 and 39. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. Listen, see, we're not of that group to draw back into perdition. But see, a lot of folk done went back and picked up what they put off when God delivered them. Now listen, my God is a deliverer. My God is able to save you from drug, heal you from heart trouble, or whatever it is, and he's able to keep you delivered. That's what I want to hear. I don't want to hear what God can't do no more than I can do. Read. But of them that believe, but of them that believe to the saving to of the, the soul. saving of the soul. Now you know a lot of folks get saved, what they call saved. They get saved according to what the preacher's preaching. When they leave that church, whatever the next church, that's a different when you save to the saving of your soul. And what I mean by that, I. I'm talking about the folks that are not preaching the truth. A lot of them are not preaching the truth. Amen? Amen. Amen. And, and you're there where well, you pull off or whatever it is to suit them. Listen, you're not suit man. Amen. Then when you go somewhere else, whatever they're doing, you get with that. But when you get saved to the same of your soul, wherever you go, Amen. what's wrong is still wrong. And you're not influenced by the people. Regards to what they do. Go to California, you say. Ain't no two or three way of being saved. It's no two or three way walking before God. Either you with God or you without God. Amen. And when you do the thing that the word of God condemn, you're wrong. You need to get it straight. How many believe what I'm saying? All right, Matthew, take heed what you 
Take heed what take heed that no man deceive take heed you. That no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name. Many shall come in my name. Saying I am Christ. Saying that I am Christ. And shall deceive many. And shall deceive many. Many people are being deceived in these last days. Amen. Now, all right, praise God. When you, when you look at these these rock and roll singers, who do they, what what church do they try to cop after? Huh? Why why do they do that? Because the Holy Spirit displays joy, peace, and happiness, and they don't want to come submissive to the power of God. But they want that joy. Now I'm not fighting another church. Don't misunderstand me. I'm just trying to show you something. Amen. I am the priest of gospel. You can accept it or reject it. Amen. But God, the, Jesus said, sheep of other fold, I should bring and that should be one fold. God getting his people together now. Now, I don't care what name you go by, God requiring you to live a saved life. And a saved life is not practicing sin. You can't get with the world and be a child of God. You cannot run with the world. Now, you, let me tell you something. You, 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 you just always ride or let somebody ride in your car. They smoke all the time. And after a while, your car will smell like tobacco. And you, it would get in your clothes. You will smell like tobacco. Amen. You can't run with those folks. Amen. Now, no way in the world you can be a child of God and run with sinners. I don't care if it's your brother, your dad, or your mother. You can't do it. And you can't win them to the Lord agreeing with them. I want the Bible talking about you got to hate mother, father. You got to hate their way and hate what they're doing. Listen, Christ offered you a better life. Amen? A successful life. If you really want to be successful, get saved. It does not forbid you from getting a good education. It does not forbid you from having some money, having a nice home, a nice car. Right? The Bible tells us we serve the Lord. There won't be room for the blessings.